Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. This is the Hex Devices Distress. So the Distress is the only unstable clipping distortion unit on the market today. And I think that that offers a lot of potential for really interesting sound designs. So without further ado, I would say, well, have a look together with me at the Hex Devices Distress. So the Distress by Hex Devices out of Rotterdam. Well, first of all, let's have a moment and appreciate this, 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 the aesthetic of the module itself. I like the whole combination of green on black and then of course the, the rest of the styling just breathes that well late 80s maybe even mid 90s cyberspace hacker aesthetic um i do like that and this is this is probably one of the the nicer implementations of that as well um other than that it's a pretty straightforward module so you've got your audio in your audio out you've got your level pods and you've got the drive port uh, which is of course going to be driving the uh, the distortion um, so the most important thing about this module is of course not just how it looks and how it works but how it sounds so before we do that I'm just going to connect my audio interface um, directly to my setup here so we can listen what we're going to be working with so I've got the nano modules owner as one audio source as you can see it's a nicely um, designed triangle wave it's ultra sharp and i do want to point out that if you look at the spectrum analyzer that you can take a ruler and put that next to those uh, those peaks that you see there and what you're going to be seeing when we apply distortion you're going to be seeing a lot of new harmonics appearing and actually well, uh, deafening some of the existing harmonics so it's going to be a really interesting thing from a sound design perspective as well and the other thing I'm going to be using let me just turn off the owner for now is the tip top audio one sample player and this is the sample we're going to be working with it's nice it's sharp it's condensed and what I want to do is I want to see what the well the distress is capable of doing with those sounds so let's uh, connect it so I'm going to take my connection to my audio interface put it in the out and grab audio in and connect that to the sum out of my well filter slash mixer so if I turn up the owner again you'll see that the wave shape is already distorted so it's already clipped it's already uh, uh, it's not the same wave shape anymore and you can already also see that in the spectrum analyzer so let's turn this up a bit and I'm gonna do this really slowly because you'll see a lot of evolution happening every millimeter that I turn this knob every radian I should say you see all of these new harmonics coming up and you start to hear that distortion coming there as well so this is still a very friendly distortion and all the way up until you get to let's say 70% and let me just turn it back just a bit and here you start to see some of those pre-existing harmonics being overtaken by the new harmonics and you see more and more harmonics coming until you get to a certain point around the 70 percent and then it really becomes a beast to behold here you go that is such a nice rich distorted sound but it still has a certain crispness to it, if you ask me. But um, let's turn down the Ona and let's go all the way down and let's hear what we were playing with in this sample. Oof, that already doesn't sound anything like the original sound. 
So let me just connect that real quickly so we've got a good point of reference. Here we go. That's the original sound. And with the this drive turned all the way down, this is what we are working with. So already you start to hear all of these additional uh, notes in there. So let's uh, play that a couple of times. And again, it's quite friendly until you get to this point. And then it starts behaving with character. Wow. There's so much there to work with. I, I absolutely love that. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be using the same MIDI I've been using for a, a number of episodes now, uh, courtesy of uh, Clemens Vallas. And um, let's turn the drive all the way down. And let's uh, just play it and see what we are working with. Slightly turning it up. gritty and warm I love that sound especially in more dynamic sounds there let's throw in the sample again oh that's beautiful let's go back to the 70% line Just grab another wave shape on the honor. So this is the pulse width modulatable triangle wave. And play with the pitch width a bit. Listen to all those harmonics there. This all started with just one single distortion unit and that's this one. So this is by far one of the most interesting distortion units I've ever heard. Um, and I think this beats a lot of the guitar pedals out there. Of course I'm no connoisseur but I really like this. I I see myself using this in both my electro-punk approach where you need to have something that is nice and gritty but still recognizable but I'm also going to be using this in my, my droney, black metal inspired ambient things as well uh, because of that richness and the... and just again the grit of this so uh, no, beautiful thing I do have to thank Hacks Devices for making this uh, available to me I do appreciate that because this is this is a beautiful thing and um, yeah let's go back to the studio and uh, see what else we can uh, we can find so I think that the most important aspect of the hex devices distress is its sound and I think that on that it scores a an A++ if you ask me but it's all about what you need in your patch and what you need in your sound design. I do think that the uh, Distress is capable of doing a lot, especially if you need additional harmonics, then this is probably the, the distortion unit for you. Um, from, from a usability perspective, it's straightforward. There's no 
bells and whistles on on there you can just go ahead and use it so I can truly recommend it for everyone looking for a new distortion unit um, I would have to say if you've got any questions or if you want to me to dive even deeper into this device or if you've got specific things you want me to test with this um, feel free to reach out I'm always willing to listen to feedback uh, that being said I would love for everyone to like comment and subscribe that's going to help the channel a lot and with that I would say well please everyone stay safe stay healthy and I hope to see you next time cheers